What's up, YouTube? In zero here, and I got another uh, Phantasmal Steed Restoration. Uh, this is becoming my favorite set so far because uh, the last box was pretty, pretty good. Because I got Lucier and uh, Mordred Phantom in one box, so it's pretty good. And I really like this set just because the cards in it are so cool, very nostalgic from, I guess, the Link Joker arc from the original, so. I'm just hoping to complete a Revenger deck and a Silverthorn Pale Moon deck. So, uh, let's get everything out of the box. Okay, there we go. That's actually a good condition box, so I'm going to keep that. Alright, so our gift is for the Dark Irregular. Uh, protect. Or, or Protect 2. Alright, hopefully we get a good imaginary gift. Looks like Excel. And... Sweet! We got the, the colored one, if I can carefully open this. Look at that. Wow, that's freaking gorgeous. Look at that. I really like that. Uh, this will go great with my gold paladins. My budget gold paladins. That actually gets me more wins than my expensive deck. Alright, so uh, let's start this opening. Hopefully we can get... The only way this box can be better than the first one is if it's an SVR or an XVR. So, I mean, I'm really hoping for the Paladin, or Shadow Paladin and Pale Moon stuff, so I'm not going to read through the cards, but uh, I'll read the Hollows. The Double Rares and more. The Variant stuff is pretty interesting. Got Silverthorn Breathing Dragon is our first Hollow. Move this down. There we go. Actually, we can probably move the packs out of the way. All right, third pack in. Uh, Transient Revenger Masquerade. Awesome. It's a card I need. What is that? Oh, okay. Shadow Pounds are turning out to be, uh, their mechanics are like turning out to be either deal with Blaster Dark or deal with like specific attack power, like 5,000. That's what I'm getting out of Shadow Pound in so far. Uh, Barrier Troop Revenger Dorant. I just noticed that this has a critical of two. That's probably why it doesn't have any good ability or shield. Uh, number of terror for the double rare, which is pretty cool. Uh, Emblem Master as a triple rare. Pretty cool. It looks really good. I figured he would be uh, a little more expensive. Right side. No 
hollow, just the rare, two rares. Two rares, no uh, VR yet. At least I don't think so. I'm gonna I'm gonna be very embarrassed when I find out that I skipped over a VR. Uh, special Stealth Beast Re Weasel Red. I hope I didn't skip over one. I don't think I did. Uh, here we go. Yes! Illusionary Revenger Mordred Phantom. There's a the VR. It looks so cool. The texture on it is way better than, than most. That's the good thing about uh, Bushy Roads hollow like special cards. They actually have like they really put effort into the the texture and the design of the cards. Wish Yu-Gi-Oh would do that. Uh, spell or Stealth Beast Spellhound. Yu-Gi-Oh just I mean just now introduced prismatic rares, which I feel like would have been a thing a, a while ago. Might have bent that, that last card, but oh well. Uh, Where Tiger Jaeger. Heard this was a good card, but what do I know? And Miracle Pop Eva, which looks pretty cool. Alright, I gotta check something real quick. Uh, wondering if I skipped over a VR or any of them, because I don't want to do that. I know I, sk I almost skipped over Lukier, just because she felt so much like a rare, like that stickiness. Just double checking because it'd be very embarrassing to do that. No. Nope. Yeah, Lukier's texture was not as cool as I thought it would be. Primarily because uh, it, it just felt so much like a rare. Just double checking. Nope, looks like I'm in the clear, I think. So, yeah, only one. Uh, VR in this box, but that's okay, because I got Mordred Phantom. Just a little recap. Yeah, Mordred Phantom. Transient Revenger, some more Silverthorn stuff. This was a, I think, a slightly, not as, not a good box, but I got, like, cards that I wanted, so... Yeah, mostly dark or regular and Murakuma stuff this time. But yeah, that's that's okay. It can support uh, my current cheap builds of it, but it's cool that we got this. This totally makes up for it. So uh, yeah, the texture on this one is really good too. Uh, yeah, so that will be it for this video. Uh, if you like it, 
uh, feel free to hit a like, subscribe, comment on cool stuff that you pulled out of here. And also a little small little thing. I ordered Card 5 Vanguard EX for the Switch and I'm hoping to stream that soon. Even though I don't know a thing, like, I don't know, I can't read Japanese at all, but uh, people said it's easy to, to, to play, so. I still have that on the way. Hopefully, that'll come in soon, because that way I can put highlights and deck builds and all that stuff, so. Yeah. So, if you enjoyed the video, hope you tune in next time. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a good day. <laughs>